Hey guys, Witt, City of Tampa's Sustainability and Resilience Officer. We're out here today exploring Bird Island with the National Audubon Society. They're showing us this incredible green infrastructure that was placed here uh, between five and seven years ago. We're looking at some of the oyster recruitment that's happened on these reef balls. This is an example of coastal resilience where we're using natural systems to try to procreate more mangroves, oysters to help with water quality. It can ultimately reduce the erosion of Bird Island. My name is Mark Rochelle. I'm the Sanctuary Manager for Audubon Florida's Coastal Island Sanctuaries Program here in Tampa Bay. Uh, Spoil Island is, the, is an island that's created from the dredging operation. So when they work to deepen and widen the channels, they um, dredge up or scoop up the sediment from the bottom and throw it to the side and create these islands. As we had industry come in and we had these man-made islands, birds moved from those um, habitats that weren't usable anymore and they moved to these dredged spoil islands. And since we were in the bay protecting the birds already, we entered into these agreements where we would protect these um, islands in perpetuity for bird nesting areas. So the Alafaya Bank has been for the birds, let's say, for a long time since the, you know, the early 30s. Now the islands just to the west here, north and south, the dredged spoil islands, Port Authority and Army Corps, they're actually active dredge spoil islands. And so when they come in and dredge, they create this great habitat that the birds look at and they think is a nice new beach, and they come in and nest. So we work closely with lots of different partners to make sure that the port and the core can get their dredging done, but also that we have this incredible um, nesting activity at the islands. We're finishing up an incredible morning out here on the water where we were looking at spoil islands that provide habitat for birds and marine species. These types of coastal resilience projects are critical to protecting Tampa from storm surge, sea level rise, and high tide events. These coastal resilience opportunities are exactly what we're looking for to transform Tampa's tomorrow.